Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Allen and before we get started with today's video please make sure that you are subscribed, that you thumbs up this video and check the description box below. Please also make sure I'm going to put on the screen this side or this side. Uh, please uh, scan my QR code with your phone and it will take you straight through to my link tree where you can uh, find me on other social media platforms to get my website my Instagram page my blog everything else is there signing up for life coaching everything is there if you want to find out more about me so welcome and today's video is a review of my September devotional basket of my September devotional basket now September was a very interesting month for me because I I have a um, I think I did a haul on this last year I did um, I've got a habit tracker and at the front I've written spiritual habit tracker because it really helps me to stay on course and they're really good and I got this from Timu um, and I listed everything that I wanted to do for the month of September. You can just get an ordinary piece of paper or print a, a habit tracker sheet out from uh, from the web from a website somewhere. And this really helped me to stay on course, and I can look back and see what I did from what I didn't do. And I'm going to use that to go over what I did during uh, September. September was a very good month um, for me and um, as well as celebrating my 60th birthday in the month of September and I'm still trying to get used to the fact that I'm 60 um, but it's a blessing to get here because so many people you know don't reach this age so I give all glory to God for that and um, I've, I'm going to go through what I what I accomplished, what I didn't do, what really ministered to me, etc. So the first thing that I did for September was I set myself a challenge to read through First Samuel. I actually um, listened to the book of First Samuel because I find that when I listen to a book, I digest more of it, and I use the U version app which has which you know the U version app I talk a lot about the U version app uh, the U version app has all the books of the bible in it with I think with over 30 or 40 translations so I listen to it I think in the new came new king james version so it has all the books of the Bible and it has them in over 30 or 40 translations. So anything that really ministered to me jumped out well, as I was listening in the New King James Version. I'd write it down or make a note in my phone and then I'd go back and look at it in different translations. So I went through the book of First Samuel and that was really interesting to see the movement and the change from um, Israel being ruled by judges to then demanding a king and Samuel anointing Saul as king. And then from Saul, it was moved on to David. But you will see that transition and the movement of being ruled by judges to a king in the book of first samuel in the book of first samuel and what really stood out to me was we must always stick with god god said i wanted to rule you they they demanded they wanted a king so god gave them their request because that's what they demanded but it didn't fare well for israel so the book of first samuel is very pivotal in the history and the and the um at the and the point of that time as israel as a nation from being ruled by judges to being ruled by a king so that's what um and the main characters let me talk about the main character main characters were um samuel and um, obviously the book of, uh, I think the chapters 1, to one, two, and 3 
talks about Samuel's early life with his mother, Hannah, Penina, his father, how he came to be born, um, and uh, it charts Samuel's rise as king, and it also outlines as well Samuel's own faults as a father as well. So it charts all of that. So the main characters are Samuel, Saul, David, you've got Jonathan in there, David's early kingship. So if you have read the book of 1 Samuel or have done a study on it, leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you found 1 Samuel, what ministered to you. So the second thing that I had planned to do was the Elijah um, Bible study by Priscilla Shire. It's a seven session Bible study and I only did a few pages of this um, and because to be honest when I start this and it gives you a verse I really get stuck into that verse so I've been going I went through this book very slowly in the month of September one two three four and I spent four days in this book during the month of September and I'm actually going to carry it on in October. I mean, this video has been uploaded in October and I'm carrying on the study of this book because it's quite meaty and the verses that they have in there, that she has there, it, it will lead you on a path that you, you read the verse and then you start to study and then you move on to a next verse. So I'm carrying on studying this book in October. Now, I was being a bit ambitious because I had all these books that I wanted to read, <laughs> but I didn't get a chance to do all of them. So this was the book that I said I wanted to read during the month of October, uh, sorry, September. And it was Forgiving What You Can't Forget. And I'm actually starting this in October. I've already started it and I'm aiming to read one chapter a day and I'll be reading it in the evening before I go to bed. So I do one chapter a day. I've already started it. And my goal, and this has 14 chapters. I aim to do one chapter a day and I should finish it by the end of uh, October. So I want to be able, so that's how I want to read my books. I like listening uh, to books as I travel to work and everything. But I do like the fact that, that I've got a book to read because it helps me to relax in the evenings and I can kind of do like a mini Bible study with it. So this was the book which I did not read. Let me, I just, no, I didn't touch it at all in the month of September, but I've started it for October. Okay. Um, now I listened to the a book during what's my phone i listened to a book on audible i'm gonna also do a video on the books i've been listening to uh in audible because i really love audible i can get a book uh i can read through a book in audible in about three or four days which is really good um so i'm i listened to breaking the power of familiar spirits breaking the power let me just get it up because i've got a book um, I've got a reading list app here which is really really good if you want me to do a video on my reading list app and see the books that I've got in there drop me a comment in the comment section and I will do that so in audible breaking the power of familiar spirits let me go to finished yeah now this book let me show you this is the book. I will also put a picture of it up on the screen. I hope you can see that. Breaking the Power of Familiar Spirits. Um, it's, it says, let me just read what it says. Defeat the unknown enemy in your home, whether you've inherited them, welcomed them, befriended them, or paid homage to them. Demonic spirits can become so familiar that you don't notice they're there. They operate undercover in our everyday lives, giving the enemy access points into our home. The truth is, familiar spirits might be the source of the problems you've been facing. Many of the reasons people go through battles in their lives are connected to the dark side. You may have experienced 
you may never experience any traumatic manifestations of the enemy's influence, but subtle activity can be just as damaging. These familiar spirits could eventually deter from becoming, sorry, could deter you from becoming all that God wants you to be. Enough is enough. When it comes to the enemy, it stops, it's time to stop hiding him out and start taking him out to stop taking stop hiding him out and start taking him out breaking the power of familiar spirits shines lights on the evil influences that sneak in through a back door discover how the enemy has taken up residence in your home and caused hindrances and havoc in your life Come against any mind-bending or mind-blinding spirits that try to control your thinking and defeat them through the power of God. This was really, really this was a really, really good. I started this book on the 31st of uh, August on Audible, listening to it, and I finished it in six days. I finished it on the 6th of September. So it took me six days to get through this book on Audible, and it was it was excellent. It's Breaking the Power of Familiar Spirits. So this, uh, it's a bit blurry, but I will put a picture up of the book on the screen. So I listened to that book and as usual I listened to my I did my U version devotional first thing in the morning and what I actually did with the devotional that I had in September because as always you know that I do my devotionals with these uh, with some ladies some other Christian women uh, the verses that ministered to me in my U version devotionals that I did for September, I actually did word studies on them and I did verse mappings on them. If you would like me to share the word studies or the verse mappings that I did, please um, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know and then I can share them with you. So I did the, a devotional how to stop fear and worry how to stop fear worry and insecurity and then when i do the devotional i take notes so on this particular day on the 4th of september this was praying god's truth over my fears and i wrote out the scriptures and the words that jumped out to me i highlighted the word and i did a word study on them so this to this day it was psalm 147 verse 3 i picked out four words and i did what and i wrote down what each word meant in the hebrew and then i went to the dictionary to find out what the words meant in the dictionary so i did that there you can see the highlighted words so if you would like me to share that with you, the verse that jumped out to me was Psalm 147 verse 3 and I can do a word study video for you on what I learned there. And um, here again I've got some other verses that stood out to me on different devotional days and the words that I highlighted were the words that jumped out to me and I did word verse mapping on those. There's another one there okay so i did part of my morning devotional i did word studies and actually i was getting up at 5 a.m to do my devotionals i spent like an hour doing my devotional spending time with god taking my communion and um i did that and then i went off and got ready for work but that was really um a very beautiful time for me doing those words study the holy spirit really really ministered to me with during my devotional time now another book that i'm reading but i'm reading it on my kindle let me just get my kindle because some of the books are too big uh some of the books that i have they're too big and i can't put it in my bag for work so i download them and this is my kindle and um, at the moment, I started reading in September, The Power of Your Dreams by Stephanie Ike Oforo. 
and let me tell you hmm let me go back to my reading list app it's the power yeah the power of your dreams so this is really good I mean it is excellent she goes into when she was younger how she had supernatural experiences with the Holy Spirit this book is really good it is really 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 good um, it says how would your life look if you gained years of wisdom guidance and strategy while you were asleep that's exactly what you receive when you tap into the power of God's voice in your dreams and she goes through and she's detailing her experience with her dream life with the Holy Spirit um, and then she delves a little bit into her background so I didn't finish it in September but I'm continuing to read it in October at the recording of this video I'm still reading it uh, she says that the average person spends 26 years of life sleeping that time was created not only to enjoy the physical benefits of rest, but to engage in the presence of God and access his guidance for our days. Through fascinating real life stories, Pastor Stephanie Ike Okofo reveals how dreams have equipped her and many others throughout history. And she shows you to can, uh, sorry, and she shows you, she so, <laughs> And she shows how you too can receive revelation from God through your dreams. This book is very good. And she answers the following questions. Are all dreams from God? How do I know if my dream contained a message from God? How do I interpret my dreams? Do nightmares have any meanings? She really goes into this book and it is excellent and I'm reading it on my Kindle. Reading it on my Kindle. It's very, very good. Very good book. Very good. Right, so for my night devotionals, as I said, I was, um, I started, I started, um, what was I? I think for my night devotionals, I was doing some of this and then I was also listening to first Samuel I was listening to first Samuel another thing that I did at night because when I go to bed at night I like to listen to the word and I play the word throughout the night as I sleep to me that's really really important I always play the word when I sleep because when you know your spirit man is not sleeping <laughs> your spirit man is not sleeping your spirit man is alive because sleep is for this physical body and I always play the word when I sleep and what I did actually I've put on a video I, I uploaded a video a few weeks ago let me just get it up for you um yeah more than food and the body yeah you can you've just heard it so I play one second let me just see if the I can body more than clothes right now on my YouTube channel I created this video I'm gonna put a link in the description box below this video here called nighttime bible scriptures and i play that as i go when i'm sleep when i send myself off to sleep and i leave it playing on my ipad if i happen to wake up in the middle of the night i will set it up to start playing again and it deals with scriptures on wisdom fear different scriptures and it plays and it goes on repeat and it plays for three hours um, if I wake up in the middle of the night and it's finished I just start it again and I keep and I play it I always like to play scripture to send me off to sleep sometimes there are other youtube channels that have eight or nine hours of scripture playing 
continuously throughout the night and sometimes I put those on as well. Um, I never go to bed without having scripture playing in the background. That's really important. That's really, really important for me and it's become a habit that I've developed. But since I've done this video on my channel, I've been using that. So I will link that video in the description box below that you can use to go to bed that will help you to go off to bed and sleep, help you to get off to sleep at night. Okay, so the I've been listening. The next thing is I've been listening to loads and loads of Christian messages. When I get up to get ready for bed, I, uh, sorry, when I get up to get ready for work, I play Christian messages. And as you can guess, I play, I play a lot of um, Pastor Kevin Ewing's videos as I'm getting dressed, as I'm getting ready for work. I listen to good Christian teaching, good Christian Bible studies, good Christian word that will teach me how to live this Christian life. So I play uh, Pastor Kevin Ewing's um, videos or I listened to um, Tiffany Montgomery uh, and people of such biblical, who do sound biblical teaching. I listen to those as I'm getting dressed. So every day throughout the month of September, I was listening to Christian messages. Sometime at work in my lunch break, I will read my Kindle or I will play a message as I'm eating my lunch. I'll put my ear pods in and I listen to Christian messages. The actual majority of them that I was listening to was Pastor Kevin Ewing actually. So that's what I was um, doing. Lots and lots of Christian messages, sound teaching. That's what I was listening to. And then the, th the last thing that I did, um, on the 23rd of September, I joined a challenge that was set, by, uh, set up by Covered by God. And the challenge is to take communion three times a day. Three times a day, morning, lunchtime, and in the evening. And um, let me tell you, I'm not even fasting while I'm doing this. And the things that have been uncovered, <laughs> I'm in the things that have been uncovered, people's hearts, people's attitudes, even my own attitude about things, the stuff that has been uncovered since I have been doing this. It's 30 days and I think it ends late next week, toward the ending of October, because it started on the 23rd of September. Communion is powerful. If you're not doing communion, I will encourage you to start doing communion. And when this challenge is finished, I think I'm going to continue to do this challenge because it is absolutely powerful, let me tell you. It is powerful. I didn't realize that communion because before you take communion, because the Bible talks about, it says, let a man examine himself. You have to have a spirit of examination. You have to be repentant because the Bible talks about, let not a man take the communion unworthily because he will bring damnation and guilt on himself. I will put the communion scriptures on the screen. So you have to make sure that you're repentant before you take the communion. You have to examine yourself. You have to have a repentant attitude before you take that communion. And when you're doing that three times a day, it is unearthing a lot of things. And I was surprised. I'm in the middle of the challenge now, but um, I'm surprised at the impact of communion because you know at church you only do it like once a month or but when you're doing it three times a day this the stuff that has 
come out from this challenge it's awesome and I will encourage you to start to to try the challenge I'm gonna put the link because it's by covered by God I'm gonna put the link in the my description box that you can start the challenge because it's a challenge that I'm gonna redo again and you can start this challenge and uh, Tiffany gives all the um, information she gives all the scriptures she talks about communion she talks about the power of the blood of Jesus oh it, it, very good very good so if you are actually doing this challenge at the moment and you're one of them let me know how you're finding it in the description box but it is so so powerful my goodness my goodness and I think, you know, next time I'm, I will doing a fast, I think I will be taking the communion three times. It is powerful. The stuff that has been uncovered while doing this, communion is powerful. It really is. And I'm going to put the link to the video in the description box. Okay, so this is what I've been doing for the month of September. And I hope something of what I've said ministered to you. Sorry, I keep looking at the screen because this video, yeah. So I hope something of what I've said has ministered to you. Um, let me know if when I did my initial video of what I'd be doing for September, if you're doing, if you've read through First Samuel, if you're reading any of the books, devotionals, let me know in the description box below. Let me know in the description box below. And I will see you in my, oh, before I forget, I also got this Bible. <laughs> the Parallel Layman's, oh, let me just, yeah. The Parallel Layman's Bible. This is, hands up, my favourite Bible. Trust and believe. Beautiful. And I am going to be doing a review on it, which, should, which that review will be up this Wednesday. So this is going to be my second video for this week. I'm going to do, do a review on it. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this Bible so much. And I'm going to be doing a review on it. So look out for it on Sunday. I'm on Wednesday. I'm seeing the requests that I'm getting in for word studies and different things. Don't worry. Uh, somebody put up they wanted me to do a word study on the word reprobate, which I'm going to do because I've been reading Romans 1 where the word reprobate is used and I am doing those, going to be doing those word studies. I've seen the requests and I've got them listed in my spreadsheet for me to do. And if there's any videos that you would like me to do word studies, book reviews, Bible reviews, whatever, put it in the description box below. Let me see them and then I will definitely record those videos and get them uploaded. Please be patient with me because I'm doing so many different things at once at the moment. But I I have got them listed to do. Okay, so God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. God bless.